Diane, you should be thrilled. The new species of fish that you've created is going to feed hundreds of thousands of people. I mean millions. We haven't completed all the tests. I'm trying to keep this company afloat. And we still don't know if there are any long-range side effects. The buyers I've got lined up will take care of that. We can't afford to waste any more time. It's not safe. Nothing is 100% safe. Well, I won't let you do it. Hey, George. George, I think you've got one. Easy, don't let him get out of the boat. Oh, oh, it's, it must be huge. I told you squid was the best bait. Oh, my. Come on, George. Work him. Oh, smoking reels. Ooh. Mitch off. This one's mine. Oh. <laughs> Don't let him get away. Oh, oh this one's had horsepower. <clears throat> he is a big one. Easy. Hey, what's going on? George has hooked the big one. Get the net, Jonah. Easy, George. Don't lose him. Watch him. Got him. Whoa, he's big. All right. Hey, Dad, what would have caused such large teeth marks like that? I don't know, Jonah. It's a great catch, though. Yes, but it's spoiled. What a waste. Well, not entirely, George. Let's take him back and have a closer look at him. Okay, 
This is approximately the jaw size of the heavyweight that tried to eat George's fish. Now see if you can reconstruct the body using that as a guide. You want me to build the fish's body from the jaw size? Not just any fish. A Chinook salmon. But, Dad... Whatever uh, tried to eat my fish has a typical Chinook's occlusion. The gill rakes on that salmon correspond to those made by a Chinook salmon. Only they're about ten times larger. You're kidding. No, I'm not kidding. There's a couple of books over in that shelf. I'll show you pictures of salmon. Okay, great. You know, George, we know salmon don't grow that big. Right. So what do you think did that? <laughs> Barracuda. But they couldn't live in these waters for more than five minutes. Now, listen, since you can't eat your fish, why don't you have dinner with us? Nicole is cooking. Okay. Whoever responds to the dinner call. Sorry, Nicole. It's just this is an interesting problem. It's it's like a murder mystery. A who done it? Well, if the artist can drag himself away from his creation and set the table, dinner is ready. Oh my gosh, I forgot. I invited George to dinner. Is there enough? He'll be here any minute. No problem. Just less for Jonah. So when did you get into sculpture? This is scientific research. If you know it's a Chinook that grabbed Uncle George's salmon, then why are you building one? Because we're not sure how big it is. Well, how much bigger than a regular salmon is it? Well, Dad figures it's at least ten times as big. Hey, neat. Super fish. Fortunately, only two fish got out of the pens, and they were both neutered. Am I supposed to lock you up or what? Charles, we're so close. So close to providing an answer to the world food problem. Don't sell us short, it's too dangerous. The preliminary research shows there was nothing to worry. I told you before, we haven't done enough tests. We have to analyze the organs of the new breed. Well, that takes money. And thanks to your late brother, we're in debt. I don't care about money. I can't afford to live in your ivory tower. I've got a group of buyers lined up. In two days, the papers will be signed, and I'll deliver the breeders to them. I beg you not to do this. After the stunt you pulled today, you and I had better have an understanding, Diane. You've worked hard since your brother died to protect his reputation. Heaven knows why. It was all your work anyway. You're a much better scientist than he ever was. <sighs> but if you jeopardize the deal that I've got going, I'll call a press conference. It'll make a good story. You wouldn't dare. Wouldn't I? How's this sound? Diane and Bernard Beecham use genetic research funds to pay his huge gambling debts. When I get through, you won't be able to get a job in a lab sweeping floors. Yeah, that's what Rudy up in Alaska says, but the largest Chinook recorded up there was uh, 126 pounds and uh, only four and a half feet long. With the marks you described, nothing else it could be, chum. You know of anybody who could be working with them, you know, crossbreeding them around here? Only one person comes to mind. Great, who is it? Bernard Beecham, but he died a few years ago. Thanks, Fred. Victor Echo 7, Charlie Lima Golf Clear. Not bad. It's terrible, but it's big. Kind of looks like a baby shark. Well, that makes four votes for a super large Chinook salmon. I guess it could weigh over 200 pounds. How did it get so big? Growth hormones. Do you think this fish could have been genetically altered? 
It's a possibility. There were some interesting articles a few years ago about the development of synthetic hormones. Oh, yes, I know, but they supposedly didn't get very far with that. I'll get that. You know, if people really were making bigger fish... Hello? Wouldn't that be a good idea? Fine. Yourself? How do you mean? Good. Well, bigger fish would feed more people. But they'd also eat more. Yeah. So? Sure. Well, it's like this. Bigger fish eat more fish. It would unbalance nature. It could throw the whole ecosystem out of whack. I'll be right there. From what I understand, the uh, experimental fish are raised at fish hatcheries, uh, controlled environments. Yeah, but the fish that bit yours was in the wild. Yes, that's true, Nicole. That was Shep Collins at the fishing dock. One of the trawlers just pulled in with a strange-looking fish stuck in their net. And this fish is over six feet long with a very large mouth. He thought we might like to take a look at it. I'd like to come, too. Well, let's go. Does that mean you're all going to be at the lab tonight? <laughs> Bye, Nicole. Bye. Guess it's just you and me, Danger. Of course, this uh, super fish. <laughs> Good morning. Beautiful day, isn't it? It sure is. Grant. Mm. Grant. <clears throat> Ten to seven. Your blood's all gone to your eyes. Circulate it. Wakey, wakey! Wakey, wakey. Jonah, go to school. It's Saturday. Dunbar here. Oh. Well, uh, what, uh, where are you going then? Where? Oh. Well, <clears throat> isn't that a little much? OK, go ahead, Harry. Bye. <sighs> that was Harry at the Carter lab. We want a computer analysis of the organ secretions of that monster fish. We're going to have to come up with the minimum fee. Don't worry. I bit the bullet. Told him, get on with it. I guess I fell asleep before we decided what it is. It's a Chinook, all right. Did Harry find out how old it is? Just over a year. Then it was still growing. And eating. You saw the damage it did to Shep's catch at the dock? This thing is big enough and aggressive enough to kill off several links in the food chain. Grant, Harry was saying he hasn't heard of experiments like this since Bernard Beecham was doing his research. He worked at Aquagenetics? Mm-hmm. Their lab is very near where we were fishing yesterday. Let's go see them. the facility you have here, Mr. Levering. Hear that, Diane? Dr. Beecham is always telling me that we need more. More! Well, I envy you the ability to focus on one thing. We're always off in six different directions. I can't help but be curious, Dr. Roberts, but uh, what brings you and Dr. Dunbar down here on a Saturday morning? We're not exactly close to the city. Well, we came across this six-foot-long fish that appears to be a salmon. We figured you could help us out. <laughs> well, we're basically into uh, algae and seaweed uh, harvesting. 
Don't I remember something about you being involved with genetic alteration of fish? If only we'd gotten that far. Diane's brother Bernard did some basic research in the field, but uh, we're miles from that now. Well, somebody's made a breakthrough. What have you done with the fish? There are three other companies within 50 miles of here that are heavily into mariculture. Diane will get you their names. Uh, what's in the sea pens down at the dock? Empty. They were built to hold Bernard's hopes and dreams, but uh, unfortunately, they were never stocked. Well, when we get the lab results on this mysterious fish, we'll know more. How about a tour of your facilities while we're here? Unfortunately, this is a very awkward time, but uh, after tomorrow, you'd be most welcome. Now, if you'll excuse me, uh, Diane will get you the list. Gentlemen. Well, thank you very much for your efforts. I think aquagenetics has anything to do with this? Well, the other labs were, were near aquagenetics in their research when Bernard Beecham died. I think this thing is damp. You could bounce it, you know. Oh, thanks, Frank. I will find something. Uh, rapid deterioration, toxicity. High liver protein, growth hormone causes rapid digestion of food, also deteriorates the kidney. Look at this. This fish has a bacterial kidney disease which is resistant to antibiotics. My God, it could wipe out entire stocks of fish. Ah, uh, the super fish is a monster. I think we better talk to Dr. Beecham again. Go alone, Grant. She might talk to you without Mr. Levering. Right. Sorry I'm late. Oh, well, that's okay. I was just going over those lab reports. <laughs> no, 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 no. For the game. You better get suited up. I'm going back to aquagenetics, George. I can feel it. I'm going to hit two home runs today. <laughs> Super pitcher, let's go. Are you playing or what? I can't. This super fish. Listen, we'll hold your hand up and you join us when you can. Okay, Ting. I can taste those hot dogs already. <laughs> Bye, Bye, Dad. Dad. Messages? Yes, Dr. Roberts. Um, enjoy the ball game. Thanks, Jean. Can I help you now? Yes, times are noon, 2.30, 3 and 5.30. You're welcome. Bye. It's a nice place to work. Yes, it is. I thought you might have gotten the test results by now. They came in last night. I was just on my way to discuss them with you. Naturally, working in the same field, I was interested. Dr. Beecham, I have enormous respect for the work you've done. I'm in awe of it, actually. Creating a whole new species of fish is a fantastic accomplishment. Please, Dr. Roberts. But there's a responsibility that comes with such an accomplishment. Oh, I don't need you to remind me about responsibility. I checked every lab within 100 miles. None of them are even close to spawning a new species. Now. Are you still going to try and tell me that the fish we ran the tests on isn't your creation? Dr. Beecham, your fish has BKD. It could cause major kill-offs in the salmon population. It's lucky one escaped. It didn't escape. I released it, hoping that it would be caught and traced to us. You released it? I had no choice. Aquagenetics is deeply in debt. Charles has sold a male and females of a new species to a foreign hatchery who will breed them for food. The deal's already been made. They'll be delivered today. Dr. Beecham, I need to know everything. Who the buyers are, where the fish are being delivered.
Air Dispatch. Flight 17 is still loading its consignment at Hangar A. Do you request we hold the flight? Over. Roger, Island Air. Request you hold your flight. This is an emergency. We'll be there in five minutes. Mr. Levering just left. Uh, you request our delay? Mr. Squirling, this is Dr. Roberts from the aquarium. He's run some tests on the new species. I'm afraid your fish is contaminated. It's impossible. You were sure... Dr. Roberts is telling the truth. We didn't take the time to run the necessary tests. Mr. Levering will be prosecuted very difficult for you. The fact is, you prevented a disaster. You'll be questioned, of course. I would think that, once we've made known the facts, that uh, I'll be able to find you some interesting work. Research, of course. Oh, I'd really appreciate that, Dr. Dunbar. Dr. Dunbar. Excuse me. Line one. Dunbar. I'll be there right away. I'm afraid you'll have to excuse me, Dr. Beecham. Well, thank you so much for your help. <laughs> All right. Sorry I'm late. I don't understand why we have to wear our uniforms for this. Don't turn your back on glory, Jonah. The infield of the baseball team has had a no-error season. That's news. Yeah, you missed a great game, Dad. George, can we get this over with, please? Certainly, Grant. Um, Duke, uh, Jenny, uh, Nicole, uh, would you get up behind the camera just for a moment? Uh, boys, uh, would you get on the step there? I want to frame this shot. I want this picture to have artistic flair. Say cheese. dead fish in my line? Did you actually think I'd fall for that? <laughs> 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 